Now, my connection here may not be as good. Oh, it's green. Okay, all right. Uh, just because we're on cable and it's always now, especially coronavirus time, everybody's working from home, right? I love it when a plan comes together. Yeah. Now I have the live. You have the live stream. So, I have the live stream. So you can see me, right? Yeah. If, I see you, the Leno uh, map. Right. Map, uh, so the, if, you, uh, if you turn up the volume on your computer, be able to hear Using external speakers, so my input on, I can other screens, and normally you would think that, well, gee, now we're looking at the Leno page, um, so we probably aren't going to be, we can't see Costa's video, so we probably can't hear his audio either. Less audio always passes. When the HDMI input is on, the audio is always being captured. Oh, okay. So what role does that play in the overall scheme of things? Well, what it means is you can use this product for lecture capture. Uh, yes. You can use this product for distance learning. Uh, you can use this product for many, many different uh, uh, purposes aside from just uh, presentation management, okay? So you can use this product and it will always pass audio, regardless of whether you have the video showing. You with me? Yes, completely. So, uh, yeah, great is instructional. We can bring up you know, classroom notes or some kind of you know, whatever, and the instructor is still there doing the lecture. Correct. Correct. And so I, um, I could I could jump between pieces of content. I can still have all of this content queued up, but I can jump between it and select what it is I want to display, in this particular case, my live video feed, as well as a content screen. I think it went to sleep. Uh, and I can continue to add content, I can continue to move it around. And I can go back and say, in this particular case, I'm in talking mode head, uh, uh, talking 